And now, since everything's over, the epilogue. This is literally me like just getting up out of bed and just going like, I gotta get this recorded, let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh. We are the Hanga Wise Men. Our name taken from the Three Kings of the Orient, or the Three Wise Men. As Guildmaster, I hereby declare that all data acquisition has been completed as planned. Therefore, this case shall formally be considered closed. Ah, good timing, Shuichi. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you miss me, my dear brother? Has your research here pr provided favorable results? Uh, it has. It has. At the very least, I can say there was significant merit in taking on this assignment. We have all the data we sought, and it clearly indicates a viable course of action. All that remains is to take it. I found the underlying equation as well, and it's as simple as a cube as can be. Just basic arithmetic. Just basic arithmetic. 24 times 3 equals 72. It indicates the equilibrium of 23 worlds plus Tokyo that have become embroiled in this endless game loop. Oh jeez, here we are with. The, oh man, this is the. This is the. This is the lore. Specifically, 
one side is summoning circle representing worldly balance and the other is 72 pillars. The game and its construction were based on formulas derived from this. The triangle is the most stable shape in this world, which is why the number of worlds is multiplied by three. Male, female, and other, love, friendship, and other, everything is arranged into threes. Everything in perfect balance. Other, that which exists outside of male and female, outside of love and friendship, that's the key to everything, isn't it? Hmm? You seem to have gotten lost in your thoughts. Are you alright, dear brother? I'm fine. Stop being so clingy, please. Just let me finish this thesis. Creation is governed by the vessel containing the 72, which represents the stability of the hexagram, consisting as it does in an endless loop, not unlike the constellations. And even a world pillar like Mac Rioch has proven himself to be able to choose a third option from a set of two, stabilizing his existence and escaping the collision of worlds on the planet. Some may call it a miracle. But the bottom line is, Akriyoj called his way back into the fold, back into existence, even against all odds. My conclusion, in order to disrupt the game in Tokyo, you will need to embrace the other and break free from this triangle. But what exactly is this other? Must not continue existing as an understudy to them. As a replacement, I must become a fourth point altogether, transforming the triangle into a square. A square doesn't have the same balance as a triangle, after all. It opens the door by, by a two way split vote, where no majority rule can be determined. to become a fourth point, however, it is imperative I learn to stand alone. I'll never achieve my goals by relying on others. Um, that's why I need to start doing things on my own. What do you mean? Speak up, little brother. Don't be shy. You know I'd do anything for you. <laughs> Thank you. With this little bit of time we have left together, Shuichi, I think maybe we should... <clears throat> Never mind that. What's going on outside? The event should be over, but it still sounds rather lively. Well, you know how it goes. Even after the final stage is concluded, tensions are still running high, so of course... Oh, God, Seth! Ow! Face this way! You... Oh, you both are so cute! Bath it. Just like that's it. Just like that. You're looking super sexy. Hmm. 
So, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Now, just where is this special finale scheduled to happen again? Marshmallows and chocolate and cookies to boot. These are some, these sweets are gonna be real hot. We're back, Mio. Crowds only gathering at the entrance. There's plenty of space inside, so don't worry. Hmm. Snow reports. What is the current? What is the current celebra eh, celebratory situation? Hmm. Yesterday we witnessed a grand display of battle, bravery, and giving. And as planned, we've drawn an even bigger crowd today. We published photos of those who wish to show off their gifts and their victories, and it's proven to be quite a hit. How <laughs> oh, splendid! Just look at all these powerful gladiators in action, expressing their feelings through displays of strength. We have no doubt that there are hidden gladiators among these new faces today as well, Snow. Let us away to the confectionery. <laughs> of course. It is. It's right this way. Please do change into your apron before we arrive, though. <clears throat> Cooking stations at the arena, huh? It's like another two-stage event. There's a day two to this thing. <laughs> oh, so many people. So many, so many chocolate. So many marshmallow. So many cookie. This one, Karma's special recipe. Marshmallow and cookie. We are all, we all make together. You make with Karma. Um, so I had this much, right? Then some sugar and milk. Ah, I hate measuring things. Can I just mix in however much I want? And, and why do we need this apron? We're just making chocolate, right? Somebody get the manager. Who's in charge here? Wait, what was the male version of a carrot? I am the manager. <laughs> you rang! Oh wow, that actually worked. <laughs> Pretty sweet setup you got here. Somebody should be. <laughs> That's our bludgeoning bridegroom for you. Always a witty retort at the ready. Oh, right. He's still... I forget. It seems only fair that I explain the true intent behind this confectionery corner. <laughs> Your valiant exploits yesterday were beheld with such passion we thought perhaps the audience might wish to participate directly. Of course, most cannot fight, but if they were to join you all in the making of sweets, would that not be just as thrilling? In this event, your rank will be determined solely by the quality of your confection. May glory be with you. You just look at me as like, good luck cooking bitches. <laughs> so in other words, you're just using us to draw a crowd? What gives? Hey, I'm talking to you. Get back here, Claude. <laughs> Watch and learn from the people around you, Kingo. <laughs> You'll no doubt come to enjoy this event too. <laughs> Are you content to leave it at that, Master? Not even telling them the true purpose of today's event. <laughs> they needn't hear it from us. They'll come to understand soon enough as the day unfolds. All things within this world, and all desires of this world, have a known and unknown, a surface and an ulterior. We may only walk one path at a time, so it's inevitable that 
we will come to regret the road unchosen. But if they allow themselves to become entangled in that regret, we fear they may not survive to see what awaits at the end. Our champions understand what it means to fight in war, even a great war, a tremendous scale. Yet, what awaits them from here on is not, is not war, but revolution. It's the, kind, it's the kind of fight that topples the entire belief systems. What we have prepared is but a dry run for that revolution, to familiarize our gladiators with what truly lurks inside them. But let's have no more talk of schemes and deception. Let us walk in the arena and see what our competitors are up to, Snow. As you wish, Master Carl. I shall follow your lead. <laughs> I made so much chocolate, I could teach others a thing or two. I'm a pro, yo! Check it out! I made bite-sized chocolates, and I mean, if you want to try some, that's the only fun I need. I don't care. <laughs> Whoa, Seth, your chocolates look really good! <clears throat> Oops, wrong voice. Whoa, Seth, your chocolates look really good! It's like they came right off the store shelf! I mean, thank you, but, but uh, like, I'm a badass. Should a badass really be taking pride in chocolate making? Hmm, no need to overthink it, badass. No, making people happy is something everybody can enjoy. Take all the pride you want. Besides, I don't really get the whole badass persona thing. Why do you want everybody to see you as some kind of bad boy? Why do you even need to ask? I want people to see me that way, because that's the way I am, of course. I am 100% badass. <laughs> oh, you you are, Seth. You are the coolest of cool cats. You are the coolest of cats. I want to be just like you. Badass, but able to make awesome chocolates, too. <laughs> Thank you, Citri. Maybe I'm worried over nothing after all. Ugh, everyone else is, looks so good, I can't possibly keep up. Chocolate making just isn't my thing. <clears throat> it could be. Few things in life require much sub subtlety and delicacy as chocolate making. It's a great challenge. Then you just stand there. <laughs> mm, you say that, but it's hard to see the importance in such a menial task. Just look at the chocolate they've made over there. That is, that is due to, that is what due diligence and strict adherence to the recipe gets you. Oh God. Wait, that is that chocolate? I thought it was real. Can I really take a bite out bite of it without breaking my teeth? I guess this will do. Whoa! Is that a chocolate star map? It's so detailed and and looks like it could be used by sailors to find an accurate course. <laughs> oh, detail is my specialty. Question now is, what do I do with this chocolate? Who do I give it to? <laughs> He's like, oh, um, well, uh, um, uh. I mean, uh, uh, I know. I should give this to Moritaka and Garma for helping us out earlier. Ah! <laughs> to look me right in the eye after communicating my desire so plainly, and still deny me without missing a beat. Truly, my dear brother is a pro. I can barely see through my tears. D do well. I am honored by your thoughtful gift. I don't think I should accept, but neither do I wish to offend. Moritaka, that is a gift from my little brother. You're talking about, stop messing around and just take it. <laughs> the conundrum, what to do, what to do.
<laughs> Finished. What do you think of these cookies, David? I use black and white dough to make them look like baseball uniforms. I even made ones for the rugby and sumo clubs. I talked with my friends earlier and we arranged an after Valentine's makeup chocolate exchange. Hope they like these. <clears throat> Making chocolates is really easy, really easy to learn, but hard to master. Even with Snow's lecture, still, these are mm, delicious. Nice work. Bet your teammates will be so happy <laughs> to get these. They'll cry tears of joy. Mind if I step in and try making some too, Q? Nice game. Uh, sure, that'd be fine. But uh, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you know, I was just passing by and stuff. <laughs> Do I want to bake something? Let's see. 350 degrees, 450. <laughs> it's me we're talking about. How about 14,000? Oh. <clears throat> oh, that's Cthulhu. <laughs> I, I have that little Cthulhu voice. <clears throat> Pretty sure that get me. Pretty sure that get me some. Pretty sure that get me some looks. <laughs> let's go, let's go, Kathuga! The roof is literally on fire. Hmm, I can swear I'm hearing lyrics from somewhere. Loneliness? Alone? Weak now? What a sad song. <clears throat> hey there. Hey there, Leanne Say. What are you up to now? Something creative, no doubt. Oh, hey, it's Zona. No, it's nothing. I just thought I heard a mournful voice crying out for help. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, hey, check this out. Anybody who participated in an event gets a special gift. This is from a sponsor site. Oh, what a pretty afternoon tea set. And a charming little stand to go with it. Perfect for sandwiches and cakes. How lyrical. I should get all the creators together along with my students from the Art Academy for a tea party. Good idea! I invite Vinton and Racky too. Oh jeez. <laughs> Y'all trying to start a war. Hmm. 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 I know you're anxious, but I don't think it'll cool any faster by watching it. At least I don't think it will. You are correct. It will not. But there is a certain thrill in waiting. My mind begins to race, to plan, to dance. For instance, I am considering chopping the chocolate before melting it next time for better texture. Learning a new skill and putting it into practice is all part of one's... Uh... Come now, say it with me. Youth! Now, uh, it all makes sense now. Look forward to the finish. <laughs> Making chocolate is tough work. We are Valentine's! <laughs> Everyone is having such a good time. This Valentine's holiday is truly a memorable act on the play of in the play of youth. It seems that everyone, no matter what tale they have to tell has something they strive for in this hollow day. If that isn't the essence of youth, then what is? And of course, I count myself among those with goals in their hearts. And what? And that's what's left. And that's <clears throat> all that's left now is to wait and see how my chocolates turn out. And while we do, well, I've come to a resolution. There is something I'd like to discuss with you, in private, if possible. Would you come with me, Brandon? Um, sure. Of course.
Welcome to the Top Floor Observation Deck. Due to today's Valentine's Day event, access is restricted to authorized personnel only. We apologize for any convenience. Holy crap. <clears throat> it's all set up for a wedding. It's one of the tournament's prizes, specifically prepared in this spot to forge the most glorious possible memories. Like a wedding all in the sky. Quite the appropriate setting to share one's feelings, wouldn't you say? Due to my standing in yesterday's tournament, I've been granted the privilege of using it to my liking for a time. Um, uh -oh. I want you to have these. I poured all my youthful thoughts and emotions into them. Mac Rilch? Thank you. Are you sure it's okay? The very first time I saw you at Bukuro Academy, and then again when I caught sight of you in the Coliseum, I knew this chocolate was destined to be yours and yours alone. Perhaps it was a vision of my own future destiny. Call it what you like, I'd simply call it inevitable. I always have trouble with that word. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Friendship or love? Such a difficult question. One that I am not quite one that I am not quite certain I can answer. To call it love would be painful in its own way, and to call it friendship would seem a bit lacking. If it's neither of the two, then perhaps a third option, and other. Yet, that almost seems craven to suggest. <laughs> My words may seem harsh, yet know that they are also tinged with sadness that I cannot make this choice. I may not be able to answer clearly now, but someday I know I will. I promise you that. What is in my heart is not merely love, nor is it friendship. It is something deeper. And when I can determine what that is, I will finally understand what a third path, the path I have ult ult ah, the path I the path I've ult ah, the path I've chosen ultimately leads. The search for this answer is itself endemic to youth. So please, consider these chocolates to be fragments of that youth. I so desperately want you to have them, because hiding somewhere deep within them is the true me. So please, Brandon, will you take them? Uh -huh. Of course. Thanks, Becky. Thank you, Becky. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ah, I see. I understand it now. That vision it foretold of this very event. <laughs> then so it shall be. For the last time, Fergus MacRiotes will make another Gios, another pact. The party's already started! Get back inside! You guys are finally back! I was starting to think you'd skip out on us. Yeah, we couldn't wait forever, sorry. Come on over here, though. There's a ton of food. <laughs> you both were gone for quite a long time, but then you are gladiators with much work, much to work out, no? This calls for another toast. Everyone grab a glass. With a party of this grandeur, we can toast again and again all night. 
Happy Valentine's Day! It would seem that our youths have quite the road ahead of them. I hope you're watching, Fergus, as well as all the others I've crossed paths with long, so long ago. I will carry my memories of you with me always, until the final days of this second chance I've been granted. Yo, Macriosh, get your head out of the clouds! At times like this, isn't there some, uh, something special you want to shout out? Yeah, it doesn't feel like a party's really gotten started till you say something about you. I I'll shout it with you if you want. Just spit it out already, will you, Macriot? <laughs> it's already began like this. Seems it only right to end with you, too. Well, if you insist, listen, one and all, as I, Fergus Macriot, raise my voice once more. IN THE NAME OF YOUTH! Because there's no other translated ones. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> Except we're not done because there's so many SQs to do. <laughs> there's so many I still have to cover. I mean, there. I've got all the ones I can in here because I don't have those characters. But 26, 23. So, 49, 59, 72, I finished all these because I don't have a Gucci Megami. There's so many to cover. <laughs> oh, why? Oh. All right, see you guys later. Time for the, we're going back to main story.